uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these other things, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, oh, I'm getting excited already, looking at these grubs go around begging for mercy. I don't know what you're saying, buddy, but all you get a win here is a little shotgun tap tap. Uh, this video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. I've got some pretty exciting news I'm going to be running through in this video. Uh, I've got a massive event coming up that I'm going to be casting. I know a lot of you like watching me yell and scream and cast and have a bit of a giggle. Um, I'm going to be showing some tips for using the brand new uh, Grooving Grenades that came out with the version 3.1 update. Far and away my favorite update that PUBG Mobile have pulled in lock. I don't know in how long. It's a... A hell of an update. Um, I really do enjoy this event mode. And I'm going to break down exactly what. Firstly, the PUBG Mobile VIP show match. Uh, the Genie Jubilee. It's going to be on April the 5th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can watch it on all the PUBG Mobile pipes there. Just hit the QR code right now. Scan that in. And that will take you to the event. And you can set a reminder. There'll be a link in the description below as well to that where you can uh, get stuck in. Uh, I'll be casting it, so make sure you click on. Uh, you can also download PUBG Mobile for free and play it. I uh, link again in the description below, pubgmobile.live forward slash world tour underscore bushka. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a thing. I'm going to be casting with Neptura Network. You might know Neptura. She's on the streams all the time and has a giggle and we've played before and it's just a hell of a good thing. There's $6,000 US prize uh, and it's the Sky High Spectacle themed game mode, all kinds of things, Nimbus Island, the whole nine yards, go check it out. And thank you very much PUBG Mobile for sponsoring the video. Let's kick on now and head back to the anniversary action. This is my favorite thing ever. Uh, there's a hot drop in most of the events. Number one, this is always on the flight path. You don't have to jump and then coast for 1500 meters and desperately hope that you're gonna get a gun. Every game is like this. Every game is absolutely ludicrous. With We've had 40 people dropping into this place before. 40 people. And you still get guns. And it's just chaos as it's all happening. And the best part about it is if you just want to play this event mode only and you don't care about your rank, you can drop here in unranked, get killed, and just go back and drop here in unranked again and start all over. It's absolutely wild. I've had... So many great gunfighting games. Uh, you see, also, there is a little hexagon-shaped screen next to me on the left. Uh, that's the border. It's not always visible. Uh, I also don't know why my AKM is sounding like this at the moment. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, I also want to talk about this. This is the best thing. This is one of the reasons, honestly, one of the reasons why I have just fallen so hard. For this event mode the the groove grenade where you basically turn people into a dancing genie is i don't know if you can have this much fun standing up i i mean honestly the groove grenade is so useful it's so tactical as well it's it's next level you can use it to push you can use it as an area denial you can use it uh to stop people from pushing into your mates when you're reviving, you can in fact stack them. Now that's what a lot of people don't realize. If you throw a groove grenade and then throw another one right on top of it, that will make the groove grenade bigger. And you can just keep chaining them so that people who are in buildings can then not escape. In fact, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite uses for the groove grenade right now. Uh, this whole gunfighting section here that you're gonna see uh, there's a lot of, I, I do a whole thing here where we're, we're gunfighting all around the uh, three stack that is on the very right edge of your screen right now. Um, it's basically all set off with the groove grenade. It works so well on these houses because it's actually a sphere. Unlike, say, a normal frag grenade that just goes off and you explode on the visible plane, like so it's just on the floor. The Groove Grenade is a sphere, so it will affect people anywhere that it touches. On the floor above, the floor below, it works like a charm. And while you Groove Grenade, they can't really escape. So if you Groove Grenade and chuck a molly on the stairs and see how we've chucked two grenades, look how big the Groove Grenade has got there. 
They can't go anywhere. Look how it's enveloping the entire house. Everyone is on fire. Everyone is on fire in that joint. And it's it's the best use of this grenade. In these three stacks that you can't really access very readily, it's such a cool way of clearing and, and being successful. This is the same building in the same game. Uh, and we're just lucky enough to turn up because there's a boat. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, there's a boat going overhead. I think everyone turned up to go and hit the boat, having a squad fight. And, you know, the best party is a third party. So I, like, uh, rolled in and said g'day and just put my best foot forward and everything was happy. The group grade is going to win this one as well. You can see uh, we only really need the one groove grenade this time, but we're going to drop it in the center of that middle window at the top. And then when everyone's dancing in there, we just throw a grenade in. You can see the poor guy dance across your screen. He can't move. He's stuck dancing. He's just stuck dancing. So, yeah, thanks very much for coming. Uh, everyone get groove grenaded. Um, it's incredible what you can do with it. And the... I mean, the teleport feature is so amazing as well. That that doesn't get used nearly enough, in my opinion, in the uh, early game, but it's so clutch in the late game. It also means you have to get good with every weapon you've got, like a Mark 47 Mutant or an SLR or running a mini primary as your primary. And these... Uh, it's just... Okay, the, I can't express how happy this mode makes me and how... For someone that doesn't always play the mode, I mean, I can see snakes so easily when I'm on a carpet. I can see, a, like, the carpet's quite apart from being able to get you wherever you want to go. They're also incredibly effective at tactically letting you move around the map safely and letting you see where vehicles are going. And uh, by the way, for those of you who still don't know, you use next to no juice on the carpet when you're low. You use all the juice on the carpet when you go up high. I still love the AK, by the way. I've been using a lot of Ace-32 and M762 and everything, but I just, I, I think I am best in this game with an AK. It is the gun that I do the absolute best at. That and a DP-28 out of the ARs. Uh, I mean, all works too. I don't love those areas up there on those, those ends. There's not enough loot. I love the market area down here where you've got such a wide variety of loot available. And if you can land in that very, very deep corner uh, of the market where I keep landing in this video, then you can really start to own this space, uh, get a bunch of loot and move forward. This is going to be another Groove Grenade special. Here we go. Actually, that might be a real grenade. No, it's a Groover. It's a Groover. <laughs> and then you push. Like, you know he's dancing. You know the poor guy's dancing. We can't do anything. It's the best. It's the best utility throwable they've ever put in the game. I mean, it's just fun. It's just fun. Isn't that the point? When it's just fun, isn't that the good stuff? Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. The AK for me is still number one. I love it to bits. Oh, before I forget, this is something we've done a bunch of times. Uh, well, a few times anyway. Praxi gets the groove grenade and we're chucking them down the bottom as people are rotating in late while being <laughs> on a carpet. And you'll see there's a guy trying to move in and he's dancing in that little shack and he can't move and he can't heal and he's just stuck there until he dies because he can't do anything. That's the groove grenade. I mean, people don't realize it's not just about uh, killing stuff all the time. Sometimes stopping people from healing is every bit as important. Like when you chuck a molly with a groove grenade, they can't heal through the molly. They can't do anything. They're just going to take the damage and walk slowly along while they're on fire. You can't really beat this, particularly the fact that it's right on top of the flight path. So many of the previous events, the flight path is variable. And they've solved that by basically attaching two Nimbus Islands to the flight path, which means you always get the opportunity to drop as hot as you can possibly take it. And trust me, when you're dropping with 35 of your closest friends, it gets awfully, awfully hot. I hope you guys are enjoying Update 3.1 as much as I am. Don't forget 
to tune in uh, to the Genie Jubilee. It's going to be a lot of giggle. There's going to be a lot of the content creators playing, uh, all your favorite guys and girls. And I'll be casting it with Neptura, so I'm going to be yelling and screaming and, and causing things to be hopefully funny and enjoyable for you. Um, and if you dig that, then come along, knock your socks off, and have a great time. And thank you once more for PUBG Mobile, our uh, two PUBG Mobile for sponsoring this video. I mean, it's fun to get, you know, sponsored to make a video about stuff that you really enjoy. I mean, am, am I wrong? Is this not your dream job where you get sponsored for doing things that you really love doing? I'm kind of a big fan of it. Um, P90 there. We've done a video on the P90 already, but there will be an AKM video coming up. Because I feel like the 7.62 meta has changed so much with so many really decent options uh, in the 7.62 meta that I think the AK is sometimes getting overlooked now. And it shouldn't be. because Just because the A32 is way better doesn't mean it's as good as my big dog AK. Anyway, look after yourself. Stay safe on the battlefield. And as always, bye for now.